everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Heartbreak Dog. I know I'm going to have a slew of reviews today. Well, a slew of videos coming out today. One over rant time, one over this, and one over, I think, BLC. Blah. If you don't know what it is, I'll explain it in that video. Today what we're going to do is, though, we have to talk about, because this, this review has been, been coming out for a while. It's been waiting. It's been waiting. We're going to do a comparison between the, the Brahmaha and the Hermine Survivors Professional Series. Blah, blah. So basically, the reason why you see this game in here, we're doing a battle between the bear and the bull. So, Caesar's Legion versus uh, NCR. Let's go. For Caesar's Legion, they are cheap. They are affordable. They come in very, see, they come in various sizes, shapes, and also colors. They do these come in like pink, and the things black. If you work in a factory environment and they require steel toe, or if you're in an environment that does require a steel toe, but you don't want to go to the, uh, I know I have them label around here somewhere. They are absolute crap. Well, I don't like them anymore. Uh, uh, if you don't want to wear sneakers, the review for that is going to be pending. You'll see why. But if you don't wear sneakers and you want to stick with boots, the bear for the price can't beat it. I recommend changing the insole. Don't kick yourself around too much. They will fall apart pretty easily. But they are slick resistant, slip resistant, and oil resistant as well. I have tested this out. Because I work on cars every so often. So goody goody. Oh no! Personal information has been leaked. <laughs> Alright, now let's hop over to. Now, before I do hop over to the bear, the bull, they do come in, again, they do come in a wide variety of, of ways. Have either sneakers, boots. I'm pretty sure there's some more boots out there. This is just my example for right now. These I did not have to change the insoles on. The review for this is going to be pending later. So if anyone wants to see that, leave a comment, subscribe, like. And let me know what you want to see next. Alright. <clears throat> see, alright, Caesar's Legion's dead. I don't care if they have more of them. On to, here we are. The Professional Survivor Series. Now, this is after six months. I got these relatively apart from the same time. Uh, I had these a bit longer, but these have been a lot better. Oh, da da da. It doesn't have any... Thing for fishing on there, but we're gonna hop over to here. It doesn't say it up front because it's too much reading. But excuse me. So what it says on here: steel toe boot with a Enduro Pro fit. Basically means like shock shock absorption. Uh, waterproof, waterproof, full grain leather. This is true. They do hold up pretty well to that for the most part. Uh, anti anti puncturing plate. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think I see that. Reinforced rubber toe, which is this part, which is actually pretty good. Anti-slip and oil resistant. It's great. And wet welt. Welt construction. Welt construction. I think that means that part. And high visibility. So, already, what's... what it, Over the... So, the bear over the bull right now, which is the Herman Survivor... Blech. There we are. So the bear over the bull so far has been, uh, these are actually puncture resistant on the bottom and have reinforcement. This I can't attest to because these are actually, these have a bit more, these are heavier. They are wider as well as you can see. They're both the same size because my big old foot of a ten and a half. Yeah, ten and a half to ten in, in the in either Euro or uh, overseas and stateside. So, <clears throat> as you can clearly see, y'all get size right there. Now, usually bigger is not always better. Ha! But in this case, it is a bit. You do get a bit more protection from on the siding as well compared to these. Like these, like okay, my finger is about right here. These, my finger is about right here. Just looking at them. There's the high visibility so people can see you walking at night. So these do actually reflect pretty well. Along uh, right there. Can't think of where else reflect, but these held up pretty well. And uh, for the price, these, so I'll talk about the price from the last thing I talk about. So just like with these, for the price, you can't beat it. For the price, you cannot beat it. Now, they're just, they're just now starting to fall apart. These, I noticed this about three, four weeks ago. 
starting to fall apart. Last thing I did was I put some mink oil on them just to see what would happen. I did, did, did the mink oil as well with these as well. I probably forgot to mention that in my review over the bear. Oh, over the bear boots, the Brahmaha. But for the uh, for the uh, Herman survivors, these just caught my attention more. Aesthetically, these are more appealing to my eyes. Again, beauty is in is in the eye of the beholder. These are more for like I'm just low key and want nobody to mess with me. I'm here to get stuff done. I'm here because I have to be. I'm here because I want to be. The job needs to be done. The job will be done. That's how my mind works. All right. These do have more protection. They do have yes. They're not gonna lie. They do have a bit more weight. These are heavier. These are heavier. These are lighter. These will give you a more solid platform. I have not rolled my ankles as many times in these as I have in these or these. I have kicked barrels. That's where this little split comes from. I've kicked barrels many a time unloading dang on trucks. And these have still not split yet. I have scraped through water out of curiosity because I know can I know can be doing a review. I've had up to here, and the water did not cross through much. I mean, of course, you go past the uh, the uh, mesh part there. Of course, your foot's foot's gonna be wet. For the price, I was better off with these, and I feel more confident and comfortable. I would buy another pair of these waterproof before I buy another pair of these. Okay. On to the negative. Just like with the Brahma, if you have low iron or low circulation, poor circulation, what have you, your feet get cold, these will keep your feet warm. That's good. Here's the bad part. These will keep your feet warm. And I've been mixing up with socks too as well. Same thing I did with these. I've worn the, the, real, the Russell, not sponsored, the Russell Mesh Sports Socks. The Dr. Scholl's socks, both the work ones and the uh, BS ones, even just the, the really cheap, normal cotton socks. Somehow, some way, same as these, my feet, it, it, this could just be me. It could just be me. These keep your feet warm. For me, they don't, these don't let my, they don't ventilate well enough. These do not ventilate well enough to where my feet can actually stay cool. That's my, that's my fit. These boots so far, both of these, they do not ventilate well. But you suffer from like poor nerve circulation, poor blood circulation, what have you. These will definitely keep your feet warm. As a matter of fact, I've actually been wearing these more. I've tried to hop back into these, and it's just no, no. I I just I I just can't get get back into them. Maybe if I'm just completely doing nothing or need emergency stuff or giving these away, which I probably might do that anyway. Ugh. But still. I've been wearing these more. I enjoy these more than I have these. But still, so on to the cons. We're still on the cons right now. These will keep your feet warm. And they will keep your feet warm. They do not let moisture come in. They do not moisture get out either. So every night I was changing socks and letting my feet air out. If you're into that kind of stuff, please keep it to yourself. Ugh. Back to the shoes, so other than that, yes, the color has faded. These wore like a bright neon orange, and over the course of months, dealing with the weather as anything, stuff is going to fade. It's not going to be shiny new, but at least they both have orange and brown uh, laces. Okay, on to the price. The slight calm with this, but that's what you pay for with quality. These were about, if I recall right, 90. Five ish dollars plus tax, so about ninety eight or so dollars in my in my area. So you're looking about maybe between ninety to almost one hundred and five dollars for these. These were about uh like twenty five thirty two dollars for the price. You can't beat it for comfort. You cannot beat it. I have not had to even change. These still have the original soles in them. I'm gonna try to wiggle it out now. Oh my gosh! See all this cushion. That's the cushion. I have not changed the soles out in these at all. These, I had to change the soles out. I don't even have the sole in there anymore. In either of them. <laughs> <laughs> these, 
these, I have not had to change the soul. The soul has stayed the... Well, until I just started screwing with it. <laughs> I'll fix it in a minute. Okay, well, since I done wriggled it that. Yeah. Tit, my Bigfoot. Alright. These, I have not had to change the soul. I will gladly buy another pair of these before I buy these ever again. The style is suggestive. If you need something for construction, manufacturing, car work, you just don't like having cold feet, or if, you want, if you're not very balanced, not a very balanced person, these will keep you balanced because they have a wider base on them. I recommend buying the. Uh, I recommend buying the. Uh, what are these things called? Professional series shoveler. Shoveler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, these are the Herman Survivors Professional Series. I strongly recommend buying. I guess these are the shovelers. Then, cool. These were fairly new when I, when I first seen the ad for them, and I, I've, I've enjoyed them. None of this, everything you've done seeing in this video is not sponsored. I buy buy all this with my own money. There's no, there's no daddy. There's there's no <laughs> there's no mommy daddy dollars going to this. It's all me. That has been my review. So just remember. In the long term, the bear will always beat out the bull. That's my take on this. I'd like to thank y'all for tuning into the Heartbreak Dog. Hope y'all have a lovely new year. And we'll see y'all for some more videos, hopefully. Thank you. Have a blessed day. NCR Rule.